Hi guys, Dile here. So today I will be working on my flower garden, which is right behind me. Um, and what I did last fall, I planted some cover crops there and it's winter rye. Um, I love using cover crops. This used to be our vegetable garden, so I was using cover crops in my vegetable garden before and then it became cutting or a flower garden and I kept using um, cover crops. So there are four reasons why I love cover crops so much. Reason number one is that they improve your soil. They add uh, nitrogen into your soil by decomposing. Uh, they are huge weed suppressants so like if i were to leave this um, patch right here without cover crops for the winter i would have weeds galore trust me um, then uh, the third reason is they improve erosion so or prevent erosion so again if i were to leave this without cover crops for the winter uh, all the rains and snow would come and uh, wash off a lot of the soil and the fourth reason is they're beautiful i'd rather look at this in the winter in the early spring than a bare patch of dirt so um, there are a number of cover crops that you can use i'm not going to go into the details that's probably a separate uh, video but alfalfa, clover, winter rye, winter wheat are some of the very common ones. So I've been using winter rye for years and I just love um, the look of it. It's very soft and it biodegrades easily. So what I'm going to do today, and that's the question people ask me a lot when they come into my garden, they're like, okay, so what's next? You have this winter rye, now how are you gonna grow your flowers? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cover this entire patch, it's, by the way, it's 12 feet by 12 feet, with paper. You can use newspaper, you can use like a thicker paper. If you use newspaper, use a couple of layers, and then just mulch the entire area. That's it. And I normally leave it for two weeks, let the winter rye biodegrade, and then I plant my flowers. It's that simple. So let me show you how I do it. But before I start, I just wanted to show you these beautiful tulips. I know I did a tulip tour just recently, but there are more in the backyard. These are the pink impression. Uh, just gorgeous. and this is the purple mix right here check out these colors look at that just beautiful anyway just wanted to show you before i get started so what i'm going to do next is put this paper on top of the rye um, and this is a packing paper for Chewy's dog and cat food that I've been ordering and it is a thicker paper and I love that it can smother the rye uh, very easily so if you use newspaper you can use newspaper easily uh, just use a couple of layers of it so and then what I'm going to do is just put mulch right on top of this so let me get started
so I'm all done and um, so basically what's gonna happen next I'm going to wait for two weeks for rye to biodegrade and the soil will become rich with nitrogen very fluffy um, and although this was kind of labor-intensive but way less than digging um, you know the double dig method or um, other like digging methods that people use to prepare the beds this technically is called no dig method and um, it's actually better for your soil it does not destroy the soil microbiome so um, uh, yeah I'm gonna get back to you in two weeks when I will be planting all of my flower uh, flowers and uh, for cutting so one note I did use mulch in plastic bags and I don't normally do that because it's not really eco-friendly but it was on huge sale and that's why I just had to grab it we normally buy mulch in bulk which is a little bit more sustainable so um, I'm actually going to be doing something like this in front of our house in a couple of weeks where I will be creating a brand new bed again with no dig method and I will be explaining how you can convert lawn into a bed using this method. I will be using compost in that case so watch out for that video. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any com uh, comments or questions comment in the uh, comment section below comment 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 <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time bye